people here understand really the automotive business. Here in Italian Design, we, have, we are not so big, but we are nearly doing everything on cars, from design up to building the cars, as well as creating new ideas to fit the mobility needs of the future. We started a new strategy and hired people, specialists from different fields, and one of them is autonomous driving. One year ago, we had the first contact with RoboRace. There is disagreement in between the Volkswagen Group and RoboRace. Volkswagen side involves Ital Design and Data Lab. So the idea is that RoboRace provides a car that has everything ready to run, but does not provide the software. It's up to the Volkswagen Group to create some new functionalities and embed those functionalities inside the car. The most famous car that it designed is the Volkswagen Golf from 1977. We took part in designing for different brands. We have the DeLorean, who everybody knows is from Back to the Future movie. We have Ferraris, we have Bugattis, we have Lamborghini. Once I arrived here, a colleague of mine told me, beware, you are in the temple of the design. The collaboration itself is quite exciting for us. As we are all engineers, of course, we are curious to see and, and discover new things. Also, RoboRace is giving us the chance of developing our functionalities even further. They provide us with a platform that is already equipped with state-of-the-art sensors, state-of-the-art hardware, and with a central computing unit. If the car were a human body, we act as senses. We are the eyes and ears. We allow the car to sense the environment and perceive what surrounds the car. In respect to normal cars, a race car is much more exciting for us to apply our functionality. For us, it's really important to bridge a gap between the research and development with the real world. So it's not just a cool technology that has an application, but it becomes something which is actually viable. We already performed our track test in Upper High Firth, and it was the first time that we actually saw the car moving. It was really cool. We, we could see our functionalities that we tried inside simulators really, really powering the car. RoboRace with this idea of, of race car, then together with data lab handling big data and artificial intelligence and our knowledge of self-driving systems, we believe this is a good combination to have all these joint forces. What you can see now is uh, Take Demo and we are very happy to have the chance of developing such a self-driving system. All the sensors, all the hardware you can see here without a steering wheel, without a throttle pedal, without brakes, without anything. The car is intelligent enough to do the job completely on its own. And it's working like a human body. So you have one brain who is calculating all the movements. You have some actuators like the human body, like arms, legs, and we're controlling all the actuators with our centralized brain. Here you can see the future. I'm very curious and happy to see something like our AI we're developing now on the streets, hopefully interesting applications for the future for real cars and testing that before motorsport, I think it's a great idea. I'm very excited about the future in autonomous driving. I think we will get a lot of benefit from it. Safer roads, we will save millions of lives, improve the pollution and we will increase also our productivity. We have to drive a car, but in the future we will be free to do whatever we want. This collaboration is really important for the future of AI. We want to show the world that we are able to deal with that even in high-speed cases. This project also gave us the opportunity to collaborate with other OEMs. It helps us both grow and to develop faster. This is of course also for us a new experience which brings a lot of opportunities. Everybody has different ideas, different perspectives and merging all those together we managed to create something better than the single part. <laughs>